Featherstone is uh, the upcoming next act in Aranus Arcana. That is and correct. And the milestones that uh, the characters have gone through really over the last couple of years are significant. And here's the thing. Uh, lots of people who have been watching this since the beginning know an awful lot about what's going on. But there's tons of people who are coming and hopefully coming to see the next act who don't know the backstory. So this is one of those big, long, how did we get here right. things. So I think that the Milestones pages are fantastic. Uh, I love the way that they're laid out. I think that it's easy for folks to jump in. Uh, do you want to talk just a little bit about how you picked out which pieces fit into the Milestones piece here? Sure. Uh, well, <clears throat> when I was thinking back on the series, we've had several discussions about what we were going to do, you know, thought about the idea of, of doing recap videos, you know, to help people catch up. Um, but I, after a while, I, I started thinking that maybe that format wasn't the best. And I was kind of in the middle of trying to figure out what would be the best format when you and I had this conversation where you'd mentioned the idea of possibly laying it out in a timeline. And then I thought, you know, of the timeline I'd used for Ashes as maybe being a good option for this. Mm -hmm. So really what this is, is rather than doing a recap, what we're doing is putting together essentially a Milestones timeline page for each act in the original series. And there were three acts total. The series ended at the beginning of the fourth act. So I'm probably not going to make one for, the, for act four. I haven't decided... Uh, of the few videos that came out for Act 4, whether those will be included or not. But if they are included, I'll just roll them into Act 3. Sure, sure. And essentially what this is, is it just goes kind of episode by episode. And uh, it, it's a list of bulleted items in here that are important things that happened in that episode as it pertains to the story. And if an episode was really just all about travel or something like that and nothing significant to the story happened in that episode, uh, I have left it out. Okay. But there are very few episodes that have been left out. Almost all of them are in here. And the only ones that have been left out, I think, are probably mostly in Chapter 1 here. So, you know, as a, as a viewer a person could come through here and they could watch these videos or they could just kind of cruise through and look at what the high points are. Sure. Now, the interesting thing here is um, as I was going through this, I decided to also, rather than just noting story points, I also made note of discussions that I was having with the audience that were relevant to certain things like Dark Brotherhood lore yep. or stuff like that. Um, so... You've always been really deeply involved in the audience interaction, even through right. all the production of this. So I think that's a great addition there. Yeah, and I, I think for me it was about making sure that people had context because what we were doing is talking about why Fleet was making the decisions that he was making along the way, why he was doing the things he was doing. Some of that was subconscious, and some of it was driven by conscious decisions that he was making. And every time that I... I made a shift in the story. I always tried to uh, discuss why that was happening in the context of either the lore or Fleet's belief system or his background or whatever it was. So I thought it was helpful to just list those. So it'll say something like, you know, here, here in uh, Episode 9, Chapter 2, Part 1, it says discussion of objectives with the Dark Brotherhood and Thieves Guild, right? So that may not be, that may not, the episode has some decision points in it that I would consider to be milestones, but then there's also the discussion where we talk about why it's happening. Right. So I tried to list all of those things, and you know you can see as you go through this, everything from Act 1 is in here. There's going to be a separate page for Act 2, and then another one for Act 3. There's a lot of videos in Act 1, but to be fair... Um, a lot of the Act 1 videos are also a lot of shorter. They're a okay. lot shorter. Um, and how many are in Act 1? Act 1 goes up to uh, Episode 44, so it'd be Chapter 5, Part 8. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then after that, we go into Act 2. Now, I'll be working on Act 2 next. I'm just going to do them in order, mm -hmm. right? But if a person wants to get caught up quickly, they can come through here and just kind of look at the high points, and then if they want to actually dive into a video and look for the discussion 
they can do that. I haven't gone to the point where I've put in things like, um, you know, links and timestamps. Sure. That would be a massive undertaking to do that. Maybe in the future. Um, yeah, maybe in the future, or maybe we crowdsource that. Oh, that'd be great. Hey, um, for folks who are listening to this, yeah. if you've got stuff as you're watching through these videos, please feel free to jump out to uh, charactercrusade.com. We've got a feedback form. If you want to help us timestamp stuff and get it into the timeline, ooh, the milestones page would be made very, very deep with that kind of info. Yeah, it would. And the cool thing about this is that this is something that's going to live on even after the story is long over. Definitely. And um, considering that you know, I've dated all these as well. It shows when they were actually published. Mm -hmm. So you can see that the series actually started in March of 2013. So, you know, as you're as you're looking at this, you, you can see that, you know, even after being on hiatus for three years or so, you know, people are still taking it in all the time. Yeah. And this will be something that they would be able to access at any time. And can you play um, them right there. here in the timeline? When yeah. you start one, it'll play right there? Yep, you can literally play all, all the episodes uh, directly in the timeline here. Nice. So you can watch it right here, or you can go out to YouTube and, and check it out that way. Now, part of the struggle here is going to be that there are some tools I can use to make sure that this link gets embedded in every single video in the series. Yep. But I don't have access to those tools quite yet. Um, that's something that is, you know, I guess... Uh, a future investment for the channel sure but eventually sure. i hope to be able to do that so at this point it's about getting the word out so if you're a viewer of the series uh, or if you're going back to get caught up again in anticipation of the new series coming out and you know somebody who's coming on board get them access to this link because i i think this this content is really helpful uh, even as the person who <laughs> is responsible for creating the story and creating all the content. There were so many details yeah. I realized that I had completely forgotten about. <laughs> and Watching your own story again. It's insane. Yeah, it's absolutely nuts. Well, consider so it was four years ago when you started. Yeah. yeah. I well, guess it stands to reason that yeah. you may so, have lost yeah. one or two. So, so when you tidbits. pick up a new series like this, I'm going to jump on your word there. Lost was one of those series that a lot of people jumped in and started binge watching after they knew that their friends had seen it. Right. Um, you know, people got to talk about it. There wasn't really a way like this that you could get back at it, which is why when you sent me this link the other day, I, I was really, really impressed. It's a great way to binge. <laughs> On this right. story, it's a great way to jump through the high points. Yeah, you're going to miss a few episodes, but you can hit those too. Uh -huh. um, I'm I'm just really excited to see the rest of the other uh, milestone pages come out over the next, well, couple months maybe. There's an awful lot going on in the background, but yeah. You see, you're answering my other question. I wanted to know if you were able to play. Can you play wow. all 45 videos at once? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. It if might you choke the your screen machine, that can but, handle well, it. Come on. Absolutely. Let's, let's scrunch it down to really small and play like 20 of them. <laughs> this is yeah. like control center stuff here. I know. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna look like the Matrix. Well, yeah. It's it's designed uh, it's designed to allow you to do that. But at, what I like about it is, as you're watching an episode, you can see the milestones yeah. listed down below, and you can refer to those. Uh, certainly, if people are reviewing episodes and they see things that they think are pivotal to the story that I've missed, I'd love to hear about that. So, yeah, use the form on the website. Let us know. In fact, we can update the form and have a special category in there for oh, those kinds of updates. Uh, so you can you can label them properly. But well, all that information all will make this more so. rich, right? And and it's not like going out and filling out a whole wiki at this point. It's really looking at the high points, pivotal things that yeah. uh, change the story in that episodes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I, I guess, so the, the next thing here is, is going to be to move on to the Act 2 Milestones page. And I've begun reviewing those episodes already. I haven't even started building the Milestones page, but I've started taking notes on those episodes. Mm -hmm. And I, I have a little notebook here where I'm, you know, putting down, you know, er everything that I find about the story, all these little... Don't lose the notebook. All these little details, you know, it's just chock full of this shit. He's going to be buried with that. Reminds me of Indiana Jones. I know, right? <laughs> you don't have a whip or anything in here, do you? Good. Uh, not, just need Sean Carney to yell at you for bringing it with you. I know, right? <laughs> Indy was the name of the dog! <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to start on that next one, but, you know, even though... 
Act 2 and Act 3 are fewer in terms of total number of videos. The videos are longer, yeah. and there's much more going on from the story perspective. So while well, Act 1 probably took me in total you know, about 10 hours to finish it, I have a feeling that Act 2 is going to take longer mm -hmm. because there's, there's more going on, and these, these lists are going to be quite a bit longer, I think. Right. But you can see as the story gets more complex, as we roll down to the bottom... The lists of of important items get longer and longer because the story is getting more involved, and uh, Act One, of course, is before we've even introduced any followers at all that have their own side plots going on. Sure. So once that happens, things will get pretty bananas pretty quick. Well, what a great start! I really am stoked to jump in here and look through this again. It's a great yep. way to get through, and thanks for explaining it all. Absolutely. So. The, the plan is to launch the story uh, sometime in October. We're hoping for... Uh, act 4, right? Uh, yeah, well, Act 4 or whatever I decide to call it. I haven't decided. <laughs> um, it, it's probably going to be split somehow. We've talked about acts. We've talked about seasons. Just to keep it uh, uniform with what's already been done, we'll probably call them acts. Um, the idea is to start mid-October. If you want to get information about what's going on with this, uh, you can always go to uh, featherstone.charactercrusade.com. That's going to take you to the Featherstone website. And here I've got a blog where I'm posting, you know, little updates to things. There's interesting information here that comes from uh, from the community through the wiki that I have copied in here right. that explains some transformations with Sumerian and stuff like that. A lot of this is pulled straight from the wiki. There's also an FAQ that's broken down by topic, and these are going to be you know, where I'm going to try to answer these questions that come up a lot in the YouTube comments. So I'm going to pull those out of comments and stick them into the FAQ here. So if you've got any questions, uh, also submit those in the form. I'll get them put into the FAQ, and so people will have their answers. But you can always come here, and then right off of here, you can see the episode guide Act one episode guide is what you want to be looking for. That'll get you there. Uh, so you can All right. review and watch. So thanks, Stu. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh.